squats, deadlifts, hip thrusts, calf raises. People know that these exercises help you jump higher, but do you know the reason why? When you're jumping, you're extending in your hips, your knee, and your ankles. Three joint extensions calling it a triple extension. If you've been doing vertical jump training for a while or you're just an athlete, then you probably know about this already. However, I don't think that enough people know about the triple extension. People should realize that jumping is a compound movement and doesn't just involve your legs. Power and strength coming from that hip thrust and knee extension and that ankle plantar flexion is where 70% of your vertical jump comes from. The other 30% coming from things like your arm swing, your core, and your technique. But that's for another video. When you're jumping higher, you want to prioritize working on these three extension movements. Now let's start with the hip extension. When you're bending down to pick something up, you're bending at the hips. And when you're coming back up, that's the hip extension movement. People don't notice that hips play a key part of jumping higher. These are a few hip extension exercises that I like to do in my training that help me a lot. Deadlifts and hip thrusts are a must include exercise for bounce. Since you could really stack on the weights on these exercises, these are really good for the strength aspect of the hip extension. Exercises like kettlebell swings and kneeling jumps require a more explosive movement. Incorporate a combination of these into your routine, depending on which you like the best. For more of a challenge, you can do a superset of one of the strength movements combined with one of the explosive movements. This is a form of contrast training which helps with vertical jump a lot. Knee extension is probably the most important out of all three extension movements, and it's probably the most common way of training to jump higher. When most people think about exercises to help you jump higher, many think about the squat, which is true. Full range of motion squats, quarter squats, half squats, box squats, Bulgarian squats, I can name a ton of different and squat varieties to help with the knee extension. From my experience, I suggest training from all ranges of motion in the back squat. Yes, when you jump, you're only going down to about a quarter squat position, but you don't only want to train at that position. Being strong from all angles will definitely maximize your jumping potential. Explosive knee extension exercises such as weighted squat jumps, single leg step ups, depth jumps, and seated jumps, including these play a key role, and just jumping in general. And I believe all these exercises are important to add in your routine. Lastly, and the least important extension movement, but still an important movement is the ankle extension. Some people say calf raises don't do anything. Some people say that calf raises are the main reason why they're dunking. Both are wrong. It doesn't do nothing, but it's also not a game changer. Still, it is important to work and train it. Standing calf raises work on the muscle called the gastrone gastronemius? Gastronemius. Standing calf raises work on a muscle called the gastronemius, while standing calf raises work on a muscle called the soleus. I believe that working both muscles and doing both varieties of calf raises will make your calves and your knee extension that much stronger. Pogo jumps are one of my favorite and probably are the best ways of training the explosive aspect of your ankle extension. Since you are only using your forefoot to jump, it is strengthening your calf muscles as well as the Achilles tendon to help you get springy. For these, it's letting athletes get used to moving fast and explosive off the ground, thus targeting your calf muscles and working on the stiffness of your Achilles tendon. Now this is just a short video and a simple breakdown of the triple extension and some exercises that would help with each extension movement. Obviously I haven't named every exercises for each extension movement but I named the best ones that help me personally with my journey. Jumping high is a bit more complex than it seems and there's for sure more to know about it than what I covered in this video. Hey while you're here if you want to jump higher run faster and get more athletic just subscribe to me man. Might as well. You know just press the button why not man. Let me know any topics you guys want me to cover in the comments.